In this tutorial, we're going to take some time to introduce the blank component and demonstrate a few of the functions that a blank can serve within your model. Now to begin, we'll note that we have a blank acting as the master ancestor for all of these components here in this wing group. And the reason that I've done that is that I can place this wing and all of its subsequent attached components relative to a fixed point in space. And that point, should I choose, can be attached either on the surface or relative to a different component or reference to a particular coordinate system. I can put it anywhere that I want. And a handy way to demonstrate the different types of behavior is to just try and shift something in Y. Now notice that the entire wing, including this weird little control surface out here, all shifted out to the right. If I were to try and do that with the Y location of the wing itself, notice that because it's reflecting symmetrically onto the other side, it actually puts a hole in the middle of the wing. It separates the two halves. And that's behaving exactly the way that it's intended to, but maybe you just wanted to move this around. So by adjusting the parent location rather than the location of the geometry itself, you're able to position these things and maintain the symmetry that you want. Another useful feature is for organization in your model tree. So notice how I can expand and collapse this master ancestor for the wing group as I want. Now you can imagine that if you have a very complex model, each with its own set of subsystems or various components at a similar level, this would get very cluttered very quickly. But because we're using our hierarchy intelligently, we can expand and collapse these various groups as we want. Another thing that you can do with a blank component is to mark or identify important locations inside your model. So in this case, I have the wing center of gravity or center of mass typed in and set, and that is now relative to this component. So no matter where I decide to move this, note that the center of mass location tracks along with it. So it's always tracked relative to the wing, which makes sense. Another thing that you can do is to use this as a location probe on different components in VSP. So as we move the U or the W position of this blank along the surface of this component, note how the absolute position and orientation is changing. And that's useful because you can use a, a blank component to effectively probe or track where in space you are relative to, say, a surface location. So you're getting two different sets of positions with UW and in the global space. And finally, you can use blanks in a combination to make combination transformation angles and translations. So if you had, say, three Euler angles to make up a rotation matrix, you can set a first rotation, a second rotation, and a third rotation, and then whatever transformation that you apply to that group is going to be applied to the body that's attached to it. And that's a really handy feature. So that's just a bit of an overview of some of the things that you can do with a blank component inside your model in VSP.